Today I'm going to be answering um, 2005 of the AP Calculus test form B, question number 5. And in this FRQ, we are given the curve by this equation, y squared is equal to 2 plus xy. On the first question, we are supposed to show that the derivative of this curve, dy dx, is equal to y all over 2y minus x. So to find the derivative of this function, we need to use the quotient, um, the quotient rule, which is low d high minus high d low all over low low or low squared. So let's go ahead and find the derivative of y squared equal to 2 plus xy. So we need to find the derivative of y squared with respect to x equal to ddx of 2 plus the der derivative of xy. So the derivative of y squared with respect to x is 2y dy dx equal to 0 because the derivative of the constant is 0. And then we are going to use the product rule for this term right here. So the derivative of x is 1 times y plus copy the first term which is x times the derivative of y which is dy dx. So now we have 2y dy dx equal to y plus x dy dx. So since we're solving for dy dx, we can isolate the dy dx on the left side of our equation. So we'll have 2y dy dx minus x dy dx equal to y. And by factoring, we'll have 2y minus x dy dx outside equal to y. Therefore, dy all over dx using our algebra rule is going to be 2y minus x, which is the same as what we're trying to show on problem letter A. <clears throat> and for problem letter B, we need to find all points x, y on the curve where the line tangent to the curve has a slope of 1 half. So for B, we need to find point x, y, where this point will have a slope that is equal to 1 half. And we know in calculus this is a slope of a given curve is the derivative of our function, so we know that dy dx, which is the slope, is equal to the function y all over 2y minus x. And we're supposed to find the slope equal to 1 half. So we just have to find the points wherein our slope is equal to 1 half. So y all over 2y minus x equals 1 half. By cross multiplication, we'll have 2y equals 2y minus x. And here we can solve for the value of x by isolating 2y. So we have negative x equal to 0 or x equals 0. So this is the first half of our coordinate. Let's find the value of y by getting the original curve of the function y squared equal to 2 plus xy and plug in the value of x. So this turns into 0. So y squared is equal to 2 and y is equal to plus or minus squared of 2. And to answer the question on letter B, the points on this curve where the tangent line has a slope of 1 half will be on point 0 and squared of 2 and 0 and negative squared of 2. 
and that's problem letter B. For problem letter C, we need to show that there are no points x, y on the curve where the line tangent to the curve is horizontal. So here we need to show for letter C that there's no point x, y wherein the slope is horizontal. So that means we need to find the derivative where it's equal to 0. So we're just going to show that dy dx is equal to 0 to prove that it's true or not true. So let's go ahead and plug in the value of dy dx, which is y all over. And we'll show this to be equal to 0 and see if this will exist. By cross multiplication, we have y equals 0 times 2y minus x. And this will turn into 0, so therefore y is equal to 0. Now let's find the value of x using the original curve, y squared equal 2 plus xy. Substitute our value of y, which is 0. And this turn into 0. So we have 0 squared is equal to 2, or 0 equal to 2, which is obviously not true. Therefore, we can say that um, For any value. In this curve. So this is how we answer letter C. Now let's go ahead and answer letter D. And on letter D, we uh, let x and y be function of time t that are related to the equation. And at time t is equal to 5, we are given the value of y, which is 3 dy dt which is 6 and we're supposed to find the value of dx dt at time t is equal to 5. So we know that the original curve that is given to us is y squared equal to 2 plus xy. We are given the value of y which is equal to 3. We are also given dy dt equal to 6 and we are supposed to look for dx all over dt. At time t is equal to 5. So in this case, we can uh, find the derivative of our function, this time with respect to time. So we are going to find d dt of y squared equals d dt of 2 plus d dt of x times y. So the derivative of y squared with respect to t is 2y dy dt. And the derivative of a constant we know is 0. Plus the derivative of x and y, so we need to use um, the product rule. So we'll have the derivative of first, which is 1 dx dt and then copy the second term plus copy the first term and then the derivative of y is going to be 1 dy dt. So we'll have an equation 2y times dy dt equal to 1 times dx all over dt multiplied by y plus x multiplied by dy dt. So we are given the specific values of y and dy dt, but we don't have the value of x. So 
to find the value of x, since we are going to be looking for dx dt, we are going to um, use the original curve, which is y squared equal to 2 plus xy, and plug in the value of y, which is 3. So we have 3 squared equals 2 plus x times 3. So we'll have 9 equals 2 plus 3x, and 9 or subtract 2 on both sides, sides, and we have 7 equals 3x. Therefore, x is equal to 7 over 3. So this is another variable that would help us find dx dt. So since we have y, we have dy dt, and we have the value of x, we can solve for dx dt by plugging all the values in our derivative function. So we'll have this function, 2 multiplied by the value of y, which is 3. We are also given the dy dt, which is 6. So we multiply it by 6, equal to dx dt, which is what we're looking for, multiplied by the value of y, which is 3, plus the value of x, which is 7 over 3, times dy dt, which is equal to 6. So now that we're able to uh, plug in all the given values, we can now solve for dx dt by simplifying our equation. 2 times 3 is equal to um, 6, and 6 times 6 is 36, equal to 3 dx dt plus 7 over 3 times 6. This becomes 2, so we have 7 times 2, which is 14. And minus 14 on both sides. Cancel, and we'll have 3 dx over dt. And 36 minus 14 is equal to 22. Divide both sides by 3. Therefore, dx all over dt is 22 all over 3.